Alright, so in this video I'm going to be showing off my process when I'm reversing class members for Jumpty Dash. So I'm going to go through this assuming you have the basic knowledge of programming and some of the concepts and terminology. So apologies if you get confused. So first of all my workflow is quite different from the average person. Most people probably use a single instance of the tool they use figured out but for me I use multiple instances of it with different game versions so at the top here you can see I'm using the 2.2 leaked build from December 2019 and with the other instances I've got jumped out 2.0 here and I've also got 2.1 here now these are the assist with finding inline class members. I have also got a version of Core Course open or Core Course or however you pronounce it for the version that Jump Trash uses and I use that to look up the headers if I need them. Now I'll be going through my process of finding these members so I'm gonna do game object to start off with. So first I'd need to find out what it inherits. So I'll go to the deconstructor which is right here. Cross reference it to get to the V table. And above it the RTTI basically tells you what it inherits. So game object here inherits CC sprite plus and that seems to be all it inherits. It, there's all these other inheritance which is inherited by the other classes, etc. So now we know CC Sprite Plus is what it inherits. So if I go to the create function, which is what the game uses to create objects, so you can see that's the size there. So I'm gonna go to game object and create a class basically. So I'm gonna do game object cc sprite plus and then I'm gonna create the struct now if I go back so 490 so I go back to the class and make sure the struct is the same size so 490 there I'll just undefine that so go back here refresh now there's a bunch of so yeah, so yeah, I've got them um, a lot of unknown members here that I'd need to figure out. So first of all, the first thing I do is find all the getters and setters. So if I go here, get so get object rec dirty. So I can do so object rect dirty. Yep. And I'll just go through every function so uh, I have no idea what the type is for this so I'm gonna put int for now. And I'll just go through so that's a cc point. And so on. Yeah, I got the gist. After I've finished doing it in the version I'm looking at, I then go to an early version of the game. So I'm on GD 2.0 now. And I basically do the same thing I just did. So create a frame. There's the size of 398. And as you can see, I've already got the class made because I've used this before. Now I'd go through all the getters and setters on this. So is oriented, stuff like that, object rec dirty and so on. And now when I'm trying to figure things out so 
For example, if I go to deactivate object, there's so many things here that I don't know what to do. Now if we go on 2.0, search deactivate object, I will have certain things here, so as you see, should hide. So I can put um, B should hide. And so it is active, well, so that'll be So I go through and compare it all, and that helps me find as many members as possible. Something that I'd like to mention is that it isn't always the same, because the updates the years apart, some changes may have been made, so it's not guaranteed that the members will align, so you should keep that in mind when you're doing this. So yeah, I hope that's self-explanatory or oh, at least helped because it's definitely helped me a lot it's gotten me through a lot of members really quickly so yeah use all the versions to find all the getters and setters so I can do set and then it g even gives you the type for the setters so that's really good like should hide that's definitely a bool uh, get object key that is a int uh, so any unique ones here. Uh, get set object class, and that's a game object class enum, or a class whatever. Uh, Sap is not CC point. Rotation, that's a float, and so on. So yeah, I definitely recommend you yeah, use all the versions of the game.